Hey guys, today's video is going to be a what I got in my Ipsy bag this month for March and a demo review of it on my face. So if you want to see what I thought about the products in this month's bag and what I got, then just keep on watching. She's fucking ratchet. Per usual. Okay. Okay, so, oh, that's cute. So this is March's bag. It says, and off she went to change the world. It's a pretty rose gold color with a blue zipper. She cute. So, it's National Women's History Month. Ah! Oh. Okay, so this month, it usually comes with just a card like this, but this month it gave me a list of everything I have in here, which it, I love. That was the one thing I liked about Birchbox, or, is it Birchbox? The other subscription I did. Awesome. So I got a lip fix, a mini lip, And it's a gloss. Yeah, it's a gloss. Eyeshadow. Highlighter and a short shader brush. Oh, okay. So, okay, cool. If I pulled my neck so I can barely... I didn't pull it, but I have a muscle spasm in my neck, so I can't really, like, move my head that well. Okay, so the first thing I see in here, let's do the lip first, is this Skin Island Solutions for Stress Skins Limited Edition Berry Lip Fix. So it looks like this. Don't mind my nails. And it says, swipe onto bare lips for a hydration boost. Apply before any lip color and it goes on nice and smooth. Okay, so we'll do that first. My lips are always chapped. I don't drink enough water. Oh my god, is it hard to get out? Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. That smells so good. It smells like berries. Oh, I love. I need a mirror. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to pull out is the Saute London Lip Luster in the shade Wildfire. And it looks like this. And it says this, use this beauty to extend the life of your lippies. Just swipe on over your favorite matte shades to transform them into glosses. Doesn't smell bad. It smells like vanilla-y. So we'll save that for our lips. Okay, the next thing on the list is a eyeshadow. Lush eyeshadow in Headliner by City Limits, I think. That's what it looks like. Ow. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, it's just a little tiny thing. And that's the shade. 
here's the back. It's very creamy, holy. So that's what it looks like. It's like a purplish, like a rose color too. Depends what light you hit. But it was very creamy. I like that. The next thing in here is, oh, it's wrapped up nicely. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Star Island Highlighter. And that card. So this is a full size. It's in Star Island. So here's what it looks like. Looks very nice. I cannot wait to use that. That looks so pretty. And the last thing is this. Short shader. Oh my god, is it cute! <gasps> it's so cute! Here's the top. And then here's the. Oh my god, that is so cute. That is so up my alley. Oh, I love it! Oh, I can use it for the new shadow. So that was everything in this month's bag, which I can't wait to try it. So let's put on our face. Right there. And I just opened it. I don't remember when, but I just, I just, I'm starting to do this because it is like an oil control for acne prone skin in one of the messed up boxes I got from Proactive. And it's a moisturizer, so I've been doing it in the morning, and they sent me a cracked cap. So, it's another thing on my list. But also, half of the box when I opened it was the cap. So, I'm going to put this on to act as a primer. Ah! Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to grab a thing here, is I'm going to take my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer and I'm in Light Ivory. And I'm going to put this under my eyes and on my problem areas. Because my eyes have a lot of redness. Right here, and right there. And I'm going to blend that out real quick. My hair is going everywhere. I also got a Target beauty box and I want to compare the two and it's all like hair and face products so that's why I haven't showered yet because I'm going to film that video later. I was going to do it last night when I showered because I showered last night but lighting wasn't too good at night so i couldn't so i'll just do it later okay now for foundation i'm going to go in with this rimmel london lasting finish 25 hour breathable long wear foundation and this is in two, true ivory this has a Doe foot, I think. Yeah, this has a doe foot, so I'm just gonna dab it everywhere. Of course, 
because I've just got my hair in it. Now I'm going to blend that out. Gonna add a little bit more for more coverage. Okay, now I'm going to set that real quick before I crease anywhere. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Bit Me um, on Bush, Bush Babe, Buff Beige Setting Powder. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And I'm going to set that right quick. Okay, now I'm going to start on my eyes. And since that is such a purpley copper, I guess I'll just do like a dark eye. I'm going to go in with my Beauty Creations Olivia palette because they have the prettiest shades for a darker eye. And I need brushes. Let's see. We will go in with this shade right here in the middle. <gasps> oh, for our transition. Going to need a mirror. And I'm just going to blend that all over the lid. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. I'm filming this video so early. It's only 9.13. It's only 9.13 in the morning. Oh! And I'm going just to go over that shade that we just laid down. I'm going to keep it more in the crease, but I'm not being precise with it.
Okay, now I'm going to take this smaller, I don't know how to say that name, but I'm going to take this smaller blending brush and I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. It is a little bit darker and cooler than the last one and I'm going to keep that mostly in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this deep, oh, I can't see, this deep brown right here. And I'm going to focus that more on the outer. This might be like a purpley brown. I'm going to focus that more. on the outer. And then I'm gonna bring the excess product in, but I'm gonna mainly focus that on the outer V. Okay, next I'm going to take this little shade of brush and I'm going to take this shade right here that we just got. I can't believe how creamy that is. And I'm going to start in the inner corner and take it almost across the lid. I'm going to start in the middle. There's a lot of fallout with that. Oh. It goes on a lot lighter than it did with the uh, finger swatch. So I'm going to put a layer down and then I'm going to go over it with my finger. So there it is with my finger, and there it is with the brush. Hi, Mama! Hi, Mama! Now I'm going to take that brown shade again and go over 
the outer and just deepen that up. like that so overall I, I love the brush and I do like the shade I like it with just the brush if you want something more subtle but I like it with the finger too that makes it more Okay, so my camera died, so I just finished off my eyes while it was charging since I didn't have anything for my Ipsy that I didn't already show you. So now I guess I'm going to go in with a uh, bronze bronzer. So I'm going to use the Hula 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 Benefit bronzer. I don't think it has a shade name. I'll just show you it. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to take a crown bronzing brush. And I'm just going to put that in the hollows of my cheek. I'm not really going to define it or anything. I'm just bronzing. I need a mirror. Okay, now I'm going to take blush and I'm going to use this Physician's Formula quad right here. And I'm literally just going to take a blush brush and I'm literally just going to smack in the middle of it. This is in Nude Wear, if you were wondering. And I'm just going to smack that on. I'm gonna get a little bit more. Okie dokie. Now for the new highlighter. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to take my Luxie tapered highlighting brush. See how this works. Okay, here we go. I barely put any on. That is no joke. I think I just found my new wedding highlight. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, now I'm going to do my lip. I'm just using my Rimmel London Nude in the City lip. I'm going to wait for it to dry down a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Saute London gloss type thing. Just to see if it makes it glossy. Got this. Mm. 
this lip isn't like a matte it's not a matte lipstick but it definitely does dry and i feel like it gets crusty around my lips so i feel like this just made it look like it's actually like a gloss which i don't really go for glosses but i mean if it makes it wear better than I'm all for it. Wow, that was a really good bag. Okay, guys, that is the finished look. That is a demo of my Ipsy products for this month. I do love everything that I got in this month's bag. I love the highlight especially. It was amazing. I think this is actually going to be my wedding highlight now. I think like it's phenomenal. Like I barely put any on and I look like I'm like shining from the gods i love it it's amazing so um i am very happy with this month's bag um my next video is either going to be my target box my target beauty box review um kind of comparing the two or my wedding trial makeup i'm not sure which one's coming first um but i am filming both in the next two days so be on the lookout for those if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really love to have you here and follow me on all my social medias. They will be at the end of the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.